Let's take a look at some of the new features in this release. The command window can now be undocked. Once it's undocked, you can move it by dragging the bar at the left or right end. I'll dock the command window for now. The Purge feature has been updated to give you a better understanding why certain items can't be purged. To see a list of items that can't be purged, click Non-Purgeable Items. In this example, I'll expand Layers and select the Doors layer. In the Reasons area, you can see general information about why the layer can't be purged, such as the layer is being used. And in the Details area, there's information specific to the objects on the Doors layer. To find the objects in the drawing, click on Select Objects. This closes the Purge dialog box and selects the objects in the drawing. From here you can make further changes as needed, such as moving the selected objects to another layer. I've been working on my drawing and I noticed a new balloon notification pop up. A change has been made to an externally referenced drawing, an XREF. Now I can compare the changes made to the drawing file that's attached as an XREF in the drawing I'm currently working in. Any differences between the XREF and the reference source drawing are highlighted using color and revision clouds. An AutoLisp extension is now available for use with Visual Studio Code that allows you to edit and debug AutoLisp source files with AutoCAD. Using Visual Studio Code, you can create and modify Lisp files and add watches and breakpoints for debugging. Dialog boxes for use with AutoLisp programs can now be defined with the dialog control language, DCL. Most DCL files created for use with AutoCAD on Windows will work in AutoCAD for Mac. Chinese language support has been added. You can change the language in the Application Preferences dialog. Restart AutoCAD for Mac to see the language change. A new Quick Mode option for the Trim and Extend commands is now available. Instead of having to first select boundaries for Trim and Extend, Quick Mode selects all potential boundaries by default. After you start either the Trim or Extend commands, simply select the objects you want to trim or extend. We think you'll like the new Quick Mode option, but if it's not for you, the legacy behavior can be restored using the Trim Extend Mode system variable. With the new Break At Point command, you can separate a line, arc, or open polyline into two objects at a specified point. As a separate command, Break At Point can be repeated by pressing Enter. We made a few enhancements to revision clouds. When a revision cloud is selected, the Properties palette now displays RevCloud as the object type instead of Polyline. You can also change the arc chord length of a selected revision cloud from the Miscellaneous section on the Properties palette, or from the Command window with the new RevCloud Properties command. Use the new RevCloud Arc Variant System variable to control whether the chord lengths of the arcs vary in length or are uniform when inserted. The Blocks palette has been updated. Now when you drag to insert a block, it uses the Insertion Options values for Scale and Rotation. A new system variable, Text Layer, specifies a default layer for new text and multi-line text objects in the current drawing. This makes it easier to place text objects on the correct layer. The Quick option of the Measure Geom command now supports extracting areas and perimeters from within enclosed areas in a 2D drawing. Clicking within a closed area highlights it in green and displays the calculated values in the command window and next to the cursor. There have been some enhancements to application preferences. You can turn lasso selection on and off from the Cursor and Selection tab. You can set the layout background color from the Look and Feel tab. And you can define your trusted paths from the Application tab. Finally, we made some enhancements for Unicode support, OLE image support, and added a command line version of Page Setup. Look and help for more information on these and other enhancements.